All right, the last two videos, we looked at how we could move from shapefile to future class and then from future class to shapefile. This video will be looking at how we can move to it from either shapefile or future class. We want to move to AutoCAD, we want to use it for something in AutoCAD. So let's look at it quickly. So on future class, the normally is the boundary or the road, anyone you want to go and use on AutoCAD. So, once you right click on it, go to export and then to cut. Now it's asking you if you have more. Actually, this one is if you have more, you can bring all of them together. All right, so for that, let's just bring in more of them. Um, okay, let's bring in more of them. All right, so all of them has come in. So is asking you which of the AutoCAD version do you want it to be. Currently here, I think the highest version is 2018. So, depending on the version of your AutoCAD, you know, you have uh, Revit 14, they have Revit 2000, AutoCAD 2000, all of them will pick anyone. So let's use the, 14, the 18, and then it's asking for which folder you want to save this in. Okay, so, um. And it's asking for name, so let's leave it. Uh, this name it's having on. Okay, I don't think there's anything we need to do again, so we just okay and watch it process. It's quite heavy, so it's going to take some time to process. Okay, so I'll pause the video and then come back when it's done. So you can see that it has completed. So let's take a look at it. So we have all the lines, features, the polyline, the polygon, the multipart, all the lines. So it categorizes everything that you can, once you open this on AutoCAD, you can automatically begin to use it directly on AutoCAD. Okay, so I remove the points and it's polling lines and everything. So basically this is how you can export from these two directories. And then also you can actually also, uh, from here now, you can also export it back to its origin anyway you can export it to its origin now from here you can export it to data and then it will become an ArcGIS data again so i just wanted to show you how you can do these things all together in one all right so i think basically we've been able to learn quite a lot from here but right, let's check it out from the from the window. Okay. I think it's in one of these folder. Okay, so here is it. So from here now you can see to right click as you want to go back to um the ArcGIS format now you right click on the on the um AutoCAD now then you go to your database multiple so it's going to bring in all of this again. You see it has, has all of them on it. So the, the joy of the AutoCAD one is that you don't need to bring in it. Once I don't select the main AutoCAD and then you right click multiple, it's going to bring all of them in. So you just select the geo database you want to put them in. So let's say is this one we are selecting. Let's see if it's going to enter, but I know most of it has. So it's going to just still go back and then create the whole thing again. So basically, I just show you how you could interrelate with, or you can explore others, other uh, part of this um, 
uh, files you can explore some of them so you see we have coverage we have so you can explore some of these files and then enjoy yourself doing that all right so thank you for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video